Hey y'all. Hola. Welcome to 30 Minutes Down South. She's Allison. And he's Carlos. And we are two top producing realtors. With two extremely different Southern upbringings. Join us each week as we explore the Lake Murray area with our special guest. Welcome, Allison. Hi, Carlos. To another episode of 30 Minutes Down South. Yes. On our second year. Second year, year two. Yeah, we started that last week. And you're finally letting me pick some guests. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> don't get used to that. You get that one once a year. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so who did you pick? So today we're going to have some friends of mine who um, are former teachers, just mm -hmm. like I was. Okay. And that's um, kind of how we clicked to begin with. They were still teaching. I had just gotten out of... The teacher gang. Teacher gang, yeah. <laughs> Um, but they, you know, had a business mindset and took a huge leap of faith. Just like you. Just like me. And mm -hmm. went out on their own and opened their own business about five years ago. They have a boutique here in Chapin, a ladies um, clothing and gift shop called Southern Stitches. Now, um, have, have you been there? Yeah, you obviously have been oh, there yeah. many, many, many times. You know, I, I haven't. I have not been in Southern Stitches, so I'm very, when, when you came in and told me uh, that we're going to have them as a guest, I was so intri intrigued. intrigued, that's how you pronounce yeah. it, how do you pronounce it, intrigued, intrigued, intrigued about it, because uh, I couldn't believe, like, it, it was, like, right there in front of me, I drive by five, six times a day, and I've never stopped by, of course, I, it's women's clothing, right? Yes. And so I don't have much to buy in there for well, me, but I can is, buy it for gifts. For you can. People. You can buy it for gifts, but they also, so they do all of my monogramming. So, like, you've got a, our logo shirt on today, yep. Remax at the Lake. So they have that logo. Right they also have. So like, they can do this. They can. They okay. have, like, my personal business logo, too. So mm -hmm. they can digitize anything you take them mm -hmm. and put it on whatever and they do a great job with it well let's uh let's talk to them all right and have them explain to us all the beautiful things that they got welcome carrie and samantha yes. <laughs> to Hello. 30 minutes dance how you guys how you girls doing oh living the dream doing good yeah <laughs> well thank you ladies for taking the time to come on i um i think y'all have such a unique story of your life prior to becoming small business owners. And that kind of really spoke to me when Carlos and I were talking about who we were going to have as our next guest. So um, I think y'all have just a good following of women who are entrepreneurs who have seen the transition y'all made from a regular nine to five job to doing something you love and have <laughs> built into success. So Tell us a little bit about your behind-the-scenes story and how you got started with Southern Stitches. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was my fault. Um, 100%. <laughs> so, Carrie and I were both teachers. We have 18 years of teaching between the two of us. Yeah. Um, plot just twist. We are also uh best friends, mm -hmm. sister-in-laws, mm -hmm. and now business partners. <laughs> um, basically, there's not a part of our life that doesn't significantly intertwine and get a little crazy. Um, but I kind of tossed the idea out at her, um, kind of hoping that she would be interested in. I had been monogramming and doing personalization out of my house for a couple years prior and um, just got to the point with teaching where I had my own babies and wanted to um, be able to spend more time with them. <laughs> Little did we know. <laughs> I was yeah. about to say, <laughs> how'd that go? <laughs> you got to quit your nine to five so you can work 12 hours a day, right? Yeah. We went, exactly. We went from nine to five to 24 seven. Mm -hmm. But um, and so I just asked her, I was like, Hey, what do you think about quitting your job and opening a business? <laughs> I was literally smack dab in the middle of my master's degree for teaching. Um, so I was still teaching. And then on the weekends I would drive to Lander and, um, do my classes. They had to be done in person because I was doing Montessori, which was very hands on. Um, so I like I literally looked at her like she had four heads and I was like, 
have you completely lost your mind? Like yes. I am in the middle of a <laughs> master's degree for teaching and you want me to quit my job and yeah. open a store. I do. And she was like, yeah, I think it'd be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she pretty much told me literally that, that I was crazy and that she was not interested. And I was like, wow. How long, how long ago was oh, this? Um, but I, too, had kind of been um, just getting a little bit burned out with teaching. And um, we were actually going through a really tough time in our lives. We were going through IVF. And um, I was just emotionally spent. And um, I was just tired of all of the... Not the kids. I loved the kids, and that was really yeah, just hard. A, just, a, just a daily grind, right? Yeah. How long yeah. ago? How long ago are we talking about? Say that again. How long ago are we talking about? When did you start this business? Uh, so this was five years. Five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, so it was around like I don't know, probably April or it was February because we had to send our contracts. In. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and, and and I have to ask, 18. what is the business? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys actually do? I know. So we own a uh, women's boutique. Uh -huh. And so we started out as personalization and gifts. So doing monogramming and all types of personalization and lots of different gift options. And then um, things took a turn probably about three years ago. Yeah, um, like COVID-ish. Yeah, kind of COVID-ish. <laughs> and then um, women's apparel just kind of blew up for us. Um, we kind of realized that there weren't a lot of places in the area that were doing um, just really cute, trendy, but affordable options for mm -hmm. women. The other thing, too, was that um, we offered fully inclusive uh, sizing. And so that was a big thing for our um, customers because it wasn't just a boutique that you would come in and get a small, medium, large. Um, we also offered options for ladies that so a lot of times didn't shop in boutiques because they weren't able to find cute, stylish things um, that kind of spoke to them. And so I think that was a big thing for us was offering um, completely Full, we call them runs, and so that's kind of how the clothes come, um, and full runs and full sizing. And so um, also jewelry is a big thing. So clothing, jewelry, we still do a lot of personalization. We do personalization for local businesses, so their logos and things like that. And then, of course, we do the baby blankets and towels mm -hmm. and, you know, all that sort of stuff. We still have a little bit of gift option, um, and so we don't want to lose that part completely. But for us right now, um, I think the biggest thing we've learned from this mm -hmm. is to basically just um, – see a shift in our customer and just run with it and just mm -hmm. hope that we're running in the right direction. <laughs> Where do you get your products from? Where do you get oh, your products? Oh, yes. Um, so we go to America's Mart um, in Atlanta. It's called Market. Um, and we go usually four times a year because we go for yes. gift and apparel shows. Um, yeah. And so that's basically where all of the wholesalers come together and display all of their collections, whether it's um, spring, whether it's, you know, winter, Christmas, all the things. Um, so we go and um, it sounds really fun. It's completely exhausting. <laughs> um, so exhausting. We, it would be super fun to do with somebody else's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fun. But um, place orders and... Um, we kind of stagger ship dates based on when we want things to arrive and, um, and they ship. Yeah. So I feel like you girls have done an amazing job of growing your business in a short amount of time, especially having come from a non business background, um, <laughs> kind of starting a couple a year or so before COVID hit and y'all have gone from a small shop to a larger shop to now online shopping as well yes 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 it has um it has taken honestly a life of its own um carrie and i laugh about because even still five years in we basically just sometimes play rock paper scissors for who's in charge and <laughs> what we should um, because unlike teaching where they give you a mentor and that person helps you through all of the hardships and the confusion and all the things in business, that's called your competition. And so that's right. 
no one wants to be like, oh yeah, come in and let me tell you all my secrets. And the principal um, will be like the IRS. Back, 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 right. Exactly. <laughs> And so um, we, of course, saw a immediate need to jump on the online um, option of shopping because that is where you can just reach, of course, as you guys know, so many more people and so many more um, just all the platforms that are out there. Mm -hmm. And so we did recently have a little setback. Um, we got hacked. Oh, and we lost our um, access to our main Facebook page, which is a big part of our reach. Um, and we had to make a new one about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And so we are now fighting, trying to, and it almost felt like we lost everything because right. I mean, <laughs> we went from thousands of followers to like 750. <laughs> so, um, so that's kind of been a little bit of a setback in terms of the online community, but I think just continuing to push and the most important thing is our customers and our following. I mean, they have just Absolutely. continued to rally around us, continue to, um, engage in our re total ridiculousness <laughs> at any point. So, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a wild ride. It's so wild. <laughs> so I think, you know, your total ridiculousness is what sets you apart. <laughs> <laughs> because y'all are so, it, you know, when you come in the shop, there's such a positive atmosphere. When you're online doing your live sales, which I think is very unique, you should watch them sometimes, Carlos. I should, yeah. Um, I, have, I haven't I, seen one. I haven't watched a yeah, single one. You really can't help but smile and laugh along with y'all. And, you know, I think that's just uplifting for so many women. Yeah, I think it just kind of almost became like, a, you know, in the beginning, we tried to be very poised and polished on our lives. And we very quickly realized that we can't do that. <laughs> um, that is not yeah. us. It's just not us. And we, um, I think just in our daily lives, we try to not take things super, super seriously. And we try to not, um, we're just not stuffy people. We're not, um we just have to embrace the craziness because at any given time, our lives are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so instead of trying to hide it, I think we just go back to those Southern roots of like, what is it they say? Like, we Parade, don't, you're crazy. You put it on the board. Board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. so, Here in the I, South, we don't try and hide our crazy. We yeah. parade it and put it on the front porch. You yep. fit them. You fit them. Or, or, just put some chicken on the front. Put the, some on chicken the on the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just add it to the mix. And so, we so, did pretty cool. so what do you yep. what do you guys do to promote your company? Like, do you have a, it's pretty much online plus events? Like, what is the hardest thing uh, to go from the ground up, especially you know a, a, a business like yours? Oh God. Um, <laughs> I would say. Honestly, our biggest challenge, I feel like, was just we, I mean, we literally just had to learn to fly the plane while we were building it. Um, and so, you know, we would try things and be like, okay, that was a really stupid mistake. Let's never do that again. <laughs> um, and, you know, just kind of work our way through um, different challenges. And, uh, I mean, we are, we, I will say, I'll toot our horn a little bit. We do have pretty creative brains, um, which I think came from the teaching side. Yeah, for sure. So, um, I mean, we come up with some really great ideas. It's just sometimes the execution, like, isn't, yeah. you know, you just don't know the things you don't know until you try it. And then you're like, oh, well, that's why this doesn't work or, you know, whatever. Um, and so we've basically stuck to like, we pretty much promote um, online and then we always try to do like ladies nights and just have like fun events because most of our customers are moms of and people, women of our age who are just looking for a chance to like be a normal person outside of their role of mom. Yes. Um, so we always try to provide opportunities for just fun and, um, fellowship and like just just come on in girl yeah. like bring your crazy it's fine we're it's crazy fine. like come drink some wine with us and yeah. do a little shopping it's gonna be fun okay um literally and, that's, I, and mean. I, I think the other the other thing that we were the lord because i can't say there's any other reason because we definitely are not 
owed any of it is the team that we've been gifted. Um, yes. There are um, all of our employees. Um, How many employees have, are we talking about? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> So it's kind of funny because we have um, people, so we have college girls that started with us for, in high school and now they've gone to school. So they come back and do, um, when we say 11, it sounds like 11 people are here every day, but that's not accurate. It's just the, the way that we plug everybody's hours in. Um, we do have a social media manager who is here every day with us. And then I do the personalization, um, and then Carrie is doing some a lot of the social media stuff, and then inventory, all the not fun stuff, and then we have the girls out front. Um, and so I think, you know, we have just been so blessed with um, a group of ladies that just encourage and just enjoy. I've never... I've always been in a profession with a bunch of women, and if you know anything, you know how a bunch of women can be. I'm, and, I'm, I'm in the same way. <laughs> yeah, Carlos is <laughs> definitely in the minority around here. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like um, the fact that, like, when I can, and I'm saying that I wouldn't, I would just have averted the talking about this if <laughs> it was not true. Um, we just are so blessed. Like there's no drama. There's no ridiculousness. Like they all just uplift us and encourage us and love us in our store and come to us with ideas or thoughts or, Hey, have you thought about this? I've heard customers saying that they might like to see this. And so it's, it's almost just, it's not just a job for them. Like they no. come in and want to see us succeed and want to see us um, grow and prosper. And so we would be absolutely nothing without our team. For sure. Like uh, we would be dead. And, and, that, like, and, that, and that seems to be the... And that seems to be the formula of a lot of uh, companies that have made your success throughout time. You know, if you read, you know, how they started, they started with a cool idea, they developed the idea, but the most important part they will always tell you is the team building and the team yeah. that was behind that idea. Yeah. Yeah. So said this, and I, you know, I always want to look forward and be positive. Well, where do you see yourself in five years? What's the goal? Like, are you fine with the size that you are right now? Are you planning to grow? Are you planning to become? Are we franchising? The next? <laughs> Carlos are is you, always looking for a good investment opportunity. <laughs> so are, are you looking to be the southern Etsy of the world? Like, what's 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 next? I think on the daily, when we think about the next five years, we. Um, We just hope that we make it, like, physically <laughs> that far. <laughs> But I think... Um, I mean, I you, think you you guys got, like, at least 50 years left, 50, 60 years <laughs> left, each one of you. Year that ticks by, I'm like, holy cow, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I think probably just continuing to hone in on our skill and hone in on what our people want. Um, definitely trying to grow the online side of things. It's very easy with a business to kind of stretch yourself in terms of what you're offering because one person says, oh, you might want to bring this in and one person, but really kind of following the the numbers mm -hmm. um, and following what is trending and what is selling for us and kind of putting out the back noise and just really focusing in on that. Um, I can't even think about franchising. That makes me want to throw up. <laughs> um, Same. <laughs> I think just continuing to try to combat um, just, just just the, the I mean all the, the economy the yeah. um, you know just we're you know the economy as a whole is in a tough time right now yeah. and so just continuing to kind of like you said fine tune um, you know what is really making us successful yeah. and um, and growing our reach and yeah and growing that um, we'd love to see the online side of things grow even more mm -hmm. and um, for sure and so i think that's kind of in our plans and brains you know to accomplish over the next five years or so yeah awesome. that's great well carrie you touched a little while ago on the fun events that y'all host which i think also sets you apart from some of the other boutiques um do y'all have anything coming up that you want to share with our listeners that they can look forward to at the stitch yes <laughs> we do we have a um So this is kind of crazy because we're not bakers or painters, but, <laughs> um, but we did this back in uh, February as a little Galentine's event, and it went so well that we are having a Easter event 
um, the lady that does our decorative cookies actually um, brings in cookies and she does a little class of kind of how to do the decoration and all the things. And then while she's doing half of the group, the other half, um, we have some Easter canvases that we will have that are kind of pre-done in terms of the design. the design and then you just kind of get to create it with paint uh, like however you want it it was a really fun um experience back in february we had lots of little groups of women come which was really fun because they just kind of got to socialize and hang out but also um just do something that i mean i would never be like oh i'm gonna make cookies you know like yeah. that would in my own kitchen, I'm going to yeah. learn how to do this. Exactly. <laughs> um, so that's coming up on March 9th. I was thinking it was the first. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that, that's going to cut it close for when this episode goes uh, live. Yeah, we'll have to know? get it out so there it's, soon. It's, it's, well, the good news is, though, is that we try to kind of come up with events almost monthly. So uh -huh. we're kind of trying to. We were both wrong. Eight, so we don't know anything. Um <laughs> But we do try to kind of come up with monthly um, with monthly activities where people can just come in. We also do a lot with uh, schools. So we will have, um, whether it be like spirit nights where the entire school community can come, or sometimes we offer private shopping events for just the teachers and things like that. Um, and so really just anything, we kind of just... Anything that we can do to give a fun opportunity for people to enjoy each other and come and shop and right. just... Um, you got to pardon my ignorance, but what's a private shopping event? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at, I didn't know what that was either until we kind of... Made it up. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what that looks like is um is for a group of who whomever that looks like it might be a group of teachers. It might even be just be like a group of girlfriends that want to get... Chef. Realtors, yeah, realtors, yeah. any of the things. Um, we close the shop at usually or a little early. Usually, we started at five, and the shop usually closes at six. And it's just an opportunity for just those people to come in and shop. So we, um, and they can bring food, they can bring drinks, they can kind of. I mean, honestly, it's the it's shop is just yours. kind of at yours. <laughs> and a lot of times, we'll do a discount for those people um, specifically for that night. And it's just a kind of an opportunity to come in and shop just with a bunch of people that you enjoy hanging out with. And um, yeah, yeah, that's about Do it. your own thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love y'all's creative ideas. There's always something new and different. And um, we're just lucky to have y'all right here in our backyard, so to speak. And jumping <laughs> on, on, on the ideas thing, after five years, what would you think would be the craziest personalization or, or gift that on top of your mind you have come up with that someone has asked for or they've done either way oh gosh well, there are so <laughs> many i'm trying to think the one <laughs> this is super sad though the one that sticks out oh in, i know exactly what, which one my brain. this is not crazy but this is go ahead yeah <laughs> so this guy came in and he had a shirt and he wanted a uh, uh, orange tabby cat embroidered, a yellow lab, and a game cock. And I was like, all in one, like in a triangle, like in a, yeah, mm -hmm. on the pocket. And I was like, you know, being silly and nosy like I am, I was like, this is weird. What are you doing with this shirt? I gotta know. And the sweet little guy, he was like, this is my burial shirt. And I kind of laughed, like, ah ha ha, like I just wasn't expecting that. He's like, no, for real. He was like, I was um, diagnosed with cancer and I have about six months to live and I really am just trying to get all my affairs in order. And these are my favorite things. And these are all my favorite things. Oh, and I wow. Buried in this shirt. And I was like, well, now I can't charge you. I'm proud of you. And wow. I did. A big old hug. And, <laughs> and just, I mean, yeah, that was there. We've had a lot of things that, um, and I think that's one of the other things to go back to what sets us apart is um, this place has become like a family in term, and like a hair salon in terms of people will just come in just to come in and kind of talk about things or get things off their chest or, you know, whatever. And we just become so inner just intertwined in people's lives yes. and their stories. And so to the point of when they come back, we're like, how's your granddaughter doing? <laughs> like, I know she, you know, just broke her leg or what, right. you know, just all of these things. Um, and so people have trusted us enough and have 
interested us into their circle of um, of just telling us their stories and things like that. And I think a big part of what Carrie and I were worried about when we left teaching was how will we how will we feel fulfilled? How will we feel like we're making a difference or that we're making this place, this world, any little bit better? And teaching it's very evident, you know, you you grow yeah. children, you know, whatever. And I was like, you can't. You can't fulfill you can't that need lives. by taking people's <laughs> money for inventory. You know, like that seems kind of greedy. But but the Lord has just blessed us in so many ways by giving us people that and putting us in positions where we can laugh with them, we can cry with them, we can do their burial shirt. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's that's, that's, that's that's a cool story. So you basically yes. have not just a shop; you have a hangout spot. <laughs> yeah, kind of therapeutic. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Mm, do you guys uh, take guys too, or boys, or just just <laughs> just women? <laughs> That's right. You uh, have to go and find out. No, I, I go there, you know, whenever I have one of those very uh, difficult uh, repair addendums. <laughs> some, Let them give you some therapy as you work through it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you all so much oh, for well, your let's time. Say, let's say and... before, uh, oh, before, you kick, before you kick them out. <laughs> Where are you located? Ah, that's a good question. We, our address is 504 Lexington Avenue. Um, and so those who are familiar with Chapin, we are right next door to JR Cash in that um, shopping plaza. Mm -hmm. So you can find us there after you eat lunch. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Now, uh, now, it's, uh, now we can say goodbye. Now we can say goodbye. <laughs> You're allowed now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you in your shop. That All sounds right. great. We look forward great. to it. All right. Thanks, ladies. That's cool. It is. They were. They're so much fun. Mm -hmm. Like they just. And, and that truly is their personality. They're always laughing, smiling. Uh, they truly enjoy what they do. So this is like the barber shop, or for Southern girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are definitely two Southern girls, too. <laughs> you know, the barbershop where everybody just yeah. hangs out. Everybody and... just goes in to sit around, talk, catch up on the, the small town gossip, work I, through I, their problems. I yeah. promise you. Uh, next time I got a problem with a contract or something and I need to air out situations or You're something. You're going to see Carrie and Samantha. I'm going to bring a bottle of whiskey and I'm going to go over there <laughs> and cry. I think they said they normally do the wine, but, you know. Well, the whisk is for me. Okay. I'm not sharing if I'm <laughs> if I'm down. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah awesome. but they've got a great thing going over there. And, um, you know, if you're in Chapin, close to Chapin, stop you know, in to see them. And definitely keep an eye out for their events because they do some really cute stuff. The only thing I know to sound like a Debbie Downer is that they seem really smart women. And, you know, that entrepreneurship... I think it's a loss for the education department. Well, I think we're seeing that all the way around. Mm -hmm. the, Do you I, think honestly, so? Honestly, I don't know. I went to a small college, and the College of Education obviously was even smaller. I don't know anyone that I graduated with who's still in education, which is heartbreaking because I'm like 20 years from now who's teaching these kids. Yeah. And but that's a much, much larger problem. It is again, you know. I didn't want to sound like a David Downer, but I felt the, the need to say that because uh, I mean, just by talking to them for half an hour, it feel like I I'll be happy to give my kid and have them have him to learn something about That's right. about them. You know, there's something to be said about people that uh, take that leap of faith, <laughs> like she said. You know, just drop everything and start a new business. You don't know what it's gonna get, and you know, that's interesting. It's not for everybody. You know, there is uh, obviously there is people that will thrive, there are people that will fail, there are people who will never even give it a shot, and there were people that, you know, work for them. So just understanding at that point of your life, you know, you have a comfortable life, you have a job, you have everything, and then you have stuff going on like she said she was, and then just shifting everything into a brand new world. Yeah, but um, I mean, and you heard them say, I mean, they're obviously two fate-filled women because, mm -hmm. you know, Samantha said multiple times, I, I give this to God. Like, it, this was not just us. Um, so they definitely truly took a leap of faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and God is behind that, but you also have to make the, the first step, right? Yeah, you got to do it. Got to trust. So anyway, um, there's 30 minutes on the nose. Um, thank you so much for listening. Subscribe. 
Hopefully you listen to like. <laughs> Hopefully you you catch up if you haven't listened to any of the episodes uh, last year. There are a couple good ones. There are a couple of bad ones. What was your first? What was your favorite episode? For You're last going year? off rails. We're over thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole nother episode. I'm gonna ask you that, that next time. Okay. What was your favorite? Was I'll your... think about it. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.